Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Noah Collins coming out with another video. Um, this time around, it's going to be for the iPhone 4 4.1 version. Now, some of these apps, themes, or tweaks are going to be similar to my old videos, but the reason I'm bringing them back is because they're still great apps um, and they're working perfectly fine, great with the iPhone 4 4.1 version. Now, some are new, some are uh, in the old. So, check it out. First thing I want to show you is that I am on 4.1 version. So let's go to my settings and you can see right there 4.1 version. Okay. Now that we established that, <clears throat> let's talk about Cydia and the apps. Okay. Cydia is this brown one right here. Okay. For the new people, you click on it. Two sources that I want to recommend is Repo Insanely iPhone. And another one is the Sinful iPhone Repo. Those two are great. Um, they have a lot of hacks, a lot of crack apps, um, and tweaks. Okay, once you get into Cydia, uh, you want to go to Manage, Sources. See, I, see, I already have it on there, but I'm going to show you how to add on. Okay, you go to Edit, Add. And this is where you add that URL that I told you, the repo insanely iPhone.com and the sinful iPhone repo.com. Um, it will be in the description um, in case you didn't hear it or, or anything. So, okay, I'm not going to add a source because I already have it. Once you added the sources and you're back into Cydia, you can either go into the source to see what that source has to offer, or you can go to search and find whatever that you want to look for and all the sources. Now the first one I want to talk about is called Syntax. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. Spelled it wrong. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. As you start spelling it, I'll find you the things that you're looking for. Okay. There's a paid one. When it's in blue like this one, that means they, they charge you for that tweak or app or theme, whatever it is. So you want to look for other uh, sources that offer you for free. They're not in blue, like uh, Celest, Insanely Repo, um, Sinful iPhone Repo. Mine, I got from Insanely Repo. So you pretty much click on it. On the top right, it's going to say install. Mine says modify because obviously mine's already installed. Once you says install, you confirm it, it goes through, and either I'll ask you to respring your phone or just go back to the city. Okay. Now, what Syntax does, uh, it allows you to get in, to, to add pictures to your um, contacts. As you can see right there, I have a couple of uh, uh, pictures there. And this is very useful for when you have a lot of people with the same name. Um, and you don't know their last name or you know or for whatever reason um, it allows you to pick um, the person obviously by their by their picture and name okay so that's what Syntec does pretty useful I like it the next one is called infinity dock now what this one does it allows you to add infinite amount of the um, icons to your dock as you can see in the bottom I have five. Normally, it'll allow you only to have four, but not. But what also lets you do um, is scroll to your right or left to see other icons that you have. This mainly for like quick access, and you can add as many icons as you want. See, you can see I'm adding, and then you can just scroll from right to left and this is useful for quick access let's go ahead and put these back okay so that's what infinity doc does um, I recommend it pretty cool check it out the next one is called gridlock now gridlock does it allows you to put your icons anywhere on your on your screen. 
See those uh, floating around? Some people like to have pictures of their, you know, their kids, their loved ones, their dogs, their pets, whatever, and they can't see it because the icon's in the way. Well, these allows you to put them anywhere you want, so it doesn't block your picture. See, so pretty cool. Check it out. Now, um, the next one is called. I can't pronounce it, but. It's, Synchronicity, I believe that's how you say it. Basically, what that allows you to do, it allows you to connect to your iTunes, sync your iTunes, and still have control over your iPhone. Um, for those that, that know it sucks that when your phone's uh, syncing, you have to let it sit there for a minute while it's finished doing what it's doing. And um, some people can wait, and some people wish they still can do things. Well, this allows you to go ahead and control your iPhone while your uh, iPhone is still syncing. Okay, the next one is called Pandora uh, V3.1.4 Skip. Now, um, I had a little problem with this one, but I figured out that it was because I had the newest version of the um, Pandora, which is 3.1.5, and I don't know if that works well with it, but I, um, I went to go ahead and deleted that one, went to install this right here, and I installed Pandora from here and the reason I came here is because it allows you to install older versions there it is now it'll say 3.15 but once you click into it I'll tell you the description and everything pretty much allows you to listen to your radio now what Pandora skip allows you to do it, it allows you to listen to your Pandora with unlimited amount of songs without telling you that oh you reach your limit for the hour or for whatever case may be and it takes away the ads see it's 3.15 you go to 3.1.4 and you install it now there's different people that offer it doesn't really matter Try one. If that one doesn't work, go to the next one. If that one doesn't work, go to the next one. But most likely, the first one always does work. So you click on it, you go through the steps, and you install it. Now, to make this Pandora work, you got to make sure your Pandora is uh, um, not installed to your phone. You don't have this Pandora hack from City yet. And um, so you first you start Pandora install that 3.1.1, 3.1.4 from installers. Unless you already have it on, on, on um, your phone from the App Store. And the next thing you want to do is go to Cydia, install Pandora B3.1.1 for Skip Hack. Um, Insanely offers it, uh, Zealous offers it, I believe, uh, those two. So I installed mine by Insanely, oh, I mean, I'm sorry, from Zealous. Um, I'll add that source too. So you once you install the hack from Cydia, you, you want to respring your phone. Okay, once you respring, I'm gonna show you. Alright, this is what allows you to do, see? As you can tell there's no ads. Oh, I wanna tell the value because I don't want to get in trouble for copyright or whatever it is called. Okay, skip again, skip again, skip again, skip again. I think it's like fourth or fifth time. And as you can see, you can keep on skipping, and the thing doesn't come up. So it's an unlimited amount of skips, so you can continue to listen to the songs you want to listen to and skip the ones that you don't. Okay, so that's what Pandora Skip does. The next one that I'm going to tell you, this is pretty cool. If you're on the road at school or somewhere where you need to connect to your Wi-Fi on your for your laptop or other devices, um, 
AT&T offers it, but they charge you for uh, tethering. Uh, this one allows you to, to tether from your phone um, with no extra charge. Now, this does depend um, if you have the unlimited um, download. I have my I have AT&T and they still offer or when I got it they offered the unlimited so it, I don't have to worry about it but if you have like a cap of two gigabytes you might want to be careful with this but other than that <clears throat> uh, my wife what it does it allows you <clears throat> to connect your laptop to your phone so all you do is click on here and you, you know you name your Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it, if you want a security or not, and that's it. You turn it on. And you should be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. It's that simple. Okay, so that's what my Wi-Fi 4 does. Um, the next one is unlimited videos. What this one allows you to do is like, allows you to watch videos on your iPhone that it came out on DVD and even the ones that are still in theaters. Now, uh, most of them are pretty good quality. Uh, you have to wait a couple of days after they came out on theaters. Uh, the pretty good quality, some you can tell they're cam videos, like somebody sitting in the audience. But for the most part, they're good quality. So I'm going to show how to how to use it. Um, it's this one right here, unlimited videos. Click on it, and you do have to register with them or uh, log in with them somehow. I use my Facebook. Uh, it's easier for me that way. Uh, there, say log in with Facebook or register with them that way, or sign in with Twitter. It's up to you. Um, and then you go to search here. And you can either browse by list the year or the what kind of video it is. So let me give an example of one that's um, that's out right now. Skyline. I don't know if it's still in theaters, but there it is. You click on it, and you can either stream it directly to your phone, or you can download it to your phone so you can watch it at a later time. Um, I have to sign in with my uh, Facebook. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, Skyline, and the button that you're going to press to uh, view is going to be right after the uh, description of the video, this one. You click on that, uh, it's going to ask you to continue, you know, just to make sure you're not a computer, an automatic, you know, thing that goes through it. You're actually human. And it'll either let you download it with Mega or watch an iPhone. And simple as that, that's unlimited videos. The next one I'm telling you it's is called Your Tube 2. Um, once again all these will be in the description if you have any question. Now your tube does it allows you to watch videos and download them to your phone. See, here's some of all the videos that I have. You know, you click on one of them, and this section will be there. You can download it in high quality or low quality is up to you. But it allows you to download YouTube videos straight to your phone um, easily. So that's pretty much it. Um, the resources, I mean, the sources will be in the description. So the name of the uh, apps, tweaks, or phone. So make sure you leave your comments, suggestions. Uh, you know, I'm not a pro at this, but I'm I'm getting better. So if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Leave comments, uh, thumbs up if you like the video, so I can continue making more and subscribe. All right, thanks. See you guys later.